I don't know how to start though. I'm immediately sweating. Naturally. Naturally. Um, and we haven't even opened the gauntlet of fire. I want to make sure they can hear. They can you. hear you. Too. Oh. Us. They can hear us. Because we got some stuff to say. We got some stuff to We've say. We got some stuff to weigh in on Baltimore. Baltimore, Maryland. Um, I'm so glad you could make it here. How does it feel? I'm glad to be here. It's a it's a be lot a cooler. City. It's a lot cooler than I thought, if I'm being honest. Yes, there's a vibe. The food I just ate. More delicioso. The people I just met. Charming. The experience I've had. Exquisite. All of the above. Awesome. They don't call it Charm City for nothing. <laughs> I mean, is it really the, the really city of charm? charm? It's just it's called Charm City. Oh, okay. Baltimore's called Charm City. <laughs> but you can call it the city of the charm. The city of that charm. Works too. Okay. Please. What are we drinking in your hometown? Listen, if there's anything that people should know about me, mm. it, if there's one thing I'm going to do, if there's one thing I'm going to drink, it's an espresso martini. An espresso martini. And so I couldn't have you here without having you have an espresso martini with me. So I think we should, Shall we? We should cheers. I think we should okay. cheers. Um, cheers to the city of charm. I love that. <laughs> Simple yet effective. <laughs> Accurate. Mm. Wow. Always saves. I love that. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need to get through this because... A little pick me up because we're mm. about to pick it up. And we are going to go through my phone. How do you feel about going through my DMs? You know what? I'm not sure. What, I'm not sure what your DMs are like. I'm not sure if they're relatively calm, chaotic, a mix of both. Yeah. When you open up the DMs mm. to the people, mm -hmm. I'm thinking you're gonna get a wild influx of responses. So I'm not quite sure what's. Your, I'm excited to go through your DMs. Not personally, because I'm gonna let you go through that. No, I'm no. Be over your I'm, no, I'm opening this up you to go, you. You, go give, you. You give me your phone. My password. I have bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm literally okay. going through your phone. Yeah. I got your password. Yeah. I see a red flag on this one. I, I see a red, this red is flag. Literally, literally. When I was 16, I went on my very first date with a guy that I had been volunteering with. We went out for ice cream after our shift, and he insisted we eat in his car instead of the restaurant. Red flag. Ooh. There why is, is a red flag. Take, why is he trying to take it to the car? To the car. We made small talk. Talk. Tech. We made smart talk. We made smart talk. We made smart talk. talk. <laughs> as one doesn't. I've only had smart. one as much as my You don't make smart talk. I make smart talk. I make smart talk. I'm crying already. <laughs> we made small talk, as one does, and then he asked me if my ice cream was good, and I said yes. He asked if he could try it. Okay, I gotta stop that. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Okay. That is a, that is a serial killer tendency. You're gonna ask. Ask to, to try it. So this is the first date you want to lick on what I'm licking you on. Wanna... <laughs> See, the thing is with me, I don't know about you, but like if it's like I have a plate of something, right? Like okay. use your fork, use your, like whatever, right. try it. Yes, absolutely. But that is such an intimate thing. Like to I'm literally, on my what tongue I'm has been on. all over this ice cream. And you want to yeah. ask, there's no other way to like try ice cream besides slobbing it down. 100. You know what I mean? It's like, what? I'm gonna just hand you my cone and watch you like uh, gather it up. No, that's like something a child does to their mother. That's right. And that's like, like mother's love only. Correct. Yeah. I'm. I'll share whatever food, but like my ice cream yeah. cone. That's when it's like if you got a spoon. It's you like can sharing a scoop. toothbrush. Right. That leave a toothbrush at your crib. Look, like you can have your own toothbrush. Right. Don't use mine. But you're not gonna use mine. No. You know. I've done so, it before. I'm not gonna act like I'm above it. <laughs> I'm looking at you like you wouldn't do that, right? You nasty. You nasty. No. <laughs> okay. Last night I found out the man I've been dating for about three months now is the cousin of a man I dated on and off for two years. Hmm. Okay. My current man and I went to a wedding last night, and as he introduced me to his extended family, <gasps> we came up to my <gasps> We came up to my ex who is now married to one of our old mutual friends, and when I tell you I didn't know how to act. It was <gasps> awkward AF. Not sure yet how to tell my current partner. You didn't tell him in the moment? Oh, this is sticky. So I feel like immediately I would have said something. I feel like that's gotta be in the moment you pull him aside like, hey. Whoa. Billy over there dated him for two years. 
He's your cousin, let's talk about this right now. And honestly, if you hear this back now, I feel like it's something you gotta bring up like The longer ASAP. it lingers, the worse it's gonna get. 100%, if you take this, if you're seriously into this guy, like you gotta address mm. this like now. Um, I feel like my preference, if something were like that were to happen to me, like I'd want you to nip it in the butt immediately. Immediately. And even, I mean, I'm sure his emotions would be high, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm sure giving her the benefit of the doubt, maybe we don't know the vibe or the dynamic. Maybe she was like, I don't want to get him mad and like ruin his night, whatever. Yeah. Like I get that, but you gotta just kind of eat that one. Yeah. And address it head on. Right. And then hopefully they have the maturity to be like, hey, like, listen, I understand that this is awkward, upsetting. Mm -hmm. Like maybe we talk about it tomorrow, like whatever, you know, if they're right. like drunk, drinking, whatever, but you have to address it. You have to address it. And I think this goes, be this I feel like also applies to like friendships, right? Like if you find mm -hmm. out that, you know, like you're dating a guy that's friend, like any type of relationship yeah. that could be compromising or awkward for, right. for your partner, I feel like you gotta just address that head on. 100%. 100%. 100%. Oh What's with the cousin oh. shit tonight? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Got catfished by my cousin. <laughs> Enough said. Excuse me? Not enough said. No, no, we we actually need more. We quite we literally literally would like to hear more. I'm about refraining this. so hard from not video chatting this person right now. And Do getting we? it. Should we? we? Oh my let's go. We're gonna try to FaceTime this person right now <laughs> to get and answers. Get the scoop. Literally all she said was got catfished by my cousin, dot 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 enough said. Not enough we said. Need, we need more. Let's get the scoop. No way. Call again. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. Yes. On a first day after eating, the guy told me that he had a food baby <laughs> and he was going to name it Philip because he was going to fill up the toilet. <laughs> there was not a second date. I couldn't get over that. Honestly, there, I love this one. there would be a second date if it were me. I love, okay, so here's the thing. And you never know until you go to cross that barrier, right? All right. Because I've been in relationships where literally one of my girlfriends, I would go over to her apartment all the time. Mm. And I just didn't get the vibe that there was that comfortability yet. Right. And so if I had to, if I had to fill up. If you had to fill up. If you had to fill up. I remember I would literally fake a phone call and be oh like, oh, I gotta step out and go down to the lobby <gasps> of the apartment no, building really? to fill up. This is totally TMI, but here we are. Please. It just takes, I feel like it takes that one accidental unsolicited fart <laughs> where you like, it rips and then you're just like. You gauge and the And then you go see what the response is. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. And if it's like, uh, I'm just like, all right, grow up. Yeah. But if it's like, uh, like, like, like you okay. give me shit, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you're like, oh, we opened in the floodgates. Because I've literally, yes, in another exactly. relationship, early on, mm. early on, um, the girl that I was seeing, like, let it rip. Love that. And I know she was probably wow. going to feel so, like, expecting me to, like, judge. And I yeah. said, oh, you don't know what you just did. You just opened the floodgates. <laughs> I From love that. From that moment on, it was fair game. That's amazing. Fair game. That's how it should be. But I got into, like, a debate mm. with this guy. He was trying to convince me that everyone deserves a second date. Oh. And I was like, my guy, I can go on a first date and I know after that first date whether yeah. this is worth pursuing or not. Yeah. And he was like, how would you know? It's just a first date. You don't know everything about somebody. I'm like, but you to your point, need to. you don't need to. But you can see enough yeah. where you're like, okay, this has potential. I'm mm -hmm. interested in seeing more or this isn't going to cut it. I agree And completely. I don't need to waste more of my time or your time continue to. I think when it comes to dating, you don't owe anybody no, anything. No. And if you don't want to have a second date, you do not, like nobody no. is owed a no. second date. But like sometimes you just understand that like, that's not somebody I'm interested in. That's not somebody I want to pursue. And like, why would you pour more time, energy, and you know, effort into something yeah. that you just know isn't going anywhere? Do girls ask you out often? No. Okay. Oh no, it's not even like an. No, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> joking. I'm, um, 
Honestly, it's a fair amount, yeah. Okay. But <clears throat> I don't, I'm not like a serial dater. Mm. I don't. You're selective with who you agree to go out with? Correct. That's good. Um, because at this point in my life, I'm just, quite frankly, not interested in just like a bunch of small talk, mm -hmm. you know, and just retelling the same story over <laughs> and over. And also, I'm just like, I know who I am, I know what I'm looking for and I can skip the BS, right. uh, you know, and kind of look beyond like, okay, is there a potential for longevity in this? Mm -hmm. And so I just don't find a need to go on multiple dates a week or a month, right. like whatever. I just, you know, I'll bet it out before. Yeah, and I was actually having this conversation last night similarly with uh, my friend Shannon and her family. And it just seems like as you get older and with every relationship, you kind of like learn these things about partners, but also about yourself. And mm -hmm. it's, it just becomes more natural. Like, you know how people say when you know, you know, or yeah. you know, you get to this age where like my parents were a little bit older when they met and my mom was like, it was three months and we knew we were gonna like be together and be engaged. And I was like, three months seems like no time yeah. to me. But as you get older, it's like, you just kind of like pick up on the things where you're like, this is gonna work, this isn't gonna work. You mm -hmm. just know yourself better and you yeah. know what is gonna like mesh well with other people. Yeah. Okay, let's answer our last question since we are literally getting shut down by our own equipment. Just on a lease with a guy and I've realized he is not my person. This is so complicated. <clears throat> yeah. You gotta break the lease. Either that or you become roommates if you're both chill enough. I feel like I could be wrong. I feel like more times than not that doesn't that isn't easy. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I've seen examples of that exact thing mm -hmm. where it's like, okay, we can be cordial, amicable, whatever, and it sounds good in theory, at least in from theory. what I've seen. But then yeah. it's like, okay, once one of y'all starts, the, mm -hmm, the second one of you brings somebody else home, it's like, oh, oh okay. Oh, horrible. Yeah. yeah. Not good. So I, I, you got, you got to get out of there. You got to get out of there. All right. Well, that was our last question. That was it. It's, we, it's, it's, it's been a, a night. It was um, so fun. I think we did the damn thing. I'm proud of you, I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us, and I can't express though how much you've been to me. <laughs> Girl, you better. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. Check your stocking. What's in that stocking? Is, oh, a twig. Twig. is that your favorite? It is. You one know of them so well. This is one of my favorite candies, Twix. And on top of that, it's a Santa version. 